Good afternoon, good afternoon to everybody. <laughs> I'm riding this one out solo. Mel is uh, still not feeling the best. She is uh, getting a little bit better here and there, but her and Abe both are actually down. We uh, kept Abe home. He was not feeling too good last night, and uh, he was uh, running a little bit of a fever and gave, got him some medicine and whatnot. Woke up uh, this morning still not feeling too well, and uh, yeah, we're like, yeah, we're not sending you to school. We'll, <laughs> we'll keep an eye on you, see what's going on. Um, but he seems to be resting, being fine and everything else like that. He's not running around doing anything crazy or, uh, you know, jumping up and down off of things that he, like, you know, he normally is. So he's uh, definitely, he's not feeling the best right now, which sort of sucks. So I've been uh, playing the whole, you know, running back and forth, checking on them, making sure that they are good and they've got, you know, food and water and making sure that none of them are running fevers or anything else like that. But uh, I do have some plans for today. I uh, started getting to work yesterday and cleaning up everything and uh, got a lot of the trash situated and everything else like that. But I had uh, plans to weed whack everything else like that. And uh, yeah, it, the trash took a toll on me when it came down to uh, just all the cardboard and everything else. And, I tried to burn as much as I could because I didn't want to load the new dumpster with cardboard and have it sitting there and have it full with, you know, just cardboard where I could burn. <laughs> so I had to, you know, baby it, make sure that, you know, all the ambers stayed where they were. And thankfully yesterday we didn't have any wind or anything else like that. So everything went out good with that, but it took some time. I had to break down all those boxes and there was a lot of them, which it seems to be the, uh, biggest you know trash consumer or consumption thing I guess boxes and loads and loads of boxes being in a new property and being in a new place and everything like that and having to buy everything pretty much new uh, yeah ends up with a lot of boxes but it is what it is got that all situated and then uh, this morning I ended up uh, going down to the animal coop area and I ended up cleaning out the uh, Cornish hen uh, coop area and whatnot and get them some fresh uh, hay and got that all together and whatnot and just checked on them. I hung out with them for a little bit today. Them and the uh, the baby chicks, they're, uh, those chickens are funny. They're, <laughs> you know, chickens, being chickens, running around and everything else like that, being scared. Anytime you walk close to them, they'll come close to you, checking you out, and then the second you start moving towards them, ah! you know, it's pretty funny. But I got, a, I got some other things on my to-do list today. This morning, um, I actually came out, dropped off the kids, you know, down at the bus stop and whatnot like that, and came, came back, and lo and behold, I realized that one of my dogs got into my lounging chair and destroyed the stuffing. Thankfully, it wasn't this new couch. <laughs> that would have been really sad. And Melanie would have been really, really pissed. But this one still is like a, ugh, you gotta be kidding me. Cause I've, I've had these chairs out here quite often, you know, with them and they haven't done it before. I'll take you over and I'll show you. Well, snip pit of it but yeah so i got uh, i got to do something which i'll get to here in a little bit but look at this freaking dogs tore into it man like really really they got they got that one i haven't even looked at this one i'm scared to it's flipped over uh, please tell me you didn't get this one. Ah, they started. They started getting at the corners. You little freaking turds. So. Dogs. <laughs> Puppies at that. Uh, I was bound to. I can't believe that they, they did that. 
I've had them out here for, you know, a little bit of time, and they haven't gotten into them at all. But now, yeah. So with that being the case, that's coming over to this couch. I really don't want them to do that. That will be sad, especially with that. And Melanie's been begging and begging and begging and begging me to put a fence right here in the dirt along the wall or along this uh, cement slab, which means that I'm going to have a fence inside a fence. <laughs> but I came out and I seen that. I can't. I can't argue with it anymore. I can't. <laughs> this is this is where I put my hands up and say, "Well, I tried. I tried to avoid it as long as I could, but it looks like it's not going to happen." So I'm going to, uh, you know, I've already thrown up some T posts from my collection of T posts that I have down there. Threw them up here. So I'm going to pound in some more T posts. Should only be about ten of them. I'm hoping. <laughs> Ten. Uh, that's that's some hard dirt right there too. That's where I'm like more so like man. That's the hardest part of the whole ground area is like up closer over here because that is almost like the ground level normal level of what was here per se. That's gonna be in the ground for pretty pretty hard. But hopefully I don't have to go too crazy deep. I'm gonna to have to remove them. So yeah, I'm gonna get those in the ground over there and then make it to where I have a gate. Sort of like this one right there. That way I can get into this area and get the dogs into this area. But yeah. Man. I tried, I tried, but it's all right. Well, I'm gonna have to do that. Get that going, because I don't want that to happen to my chairs over there. I'll be very, very sad. I'll cry. Melanie will cry, and she'll be very upset at me, because we have the materials to fence them off right here. It's just a matter of doing it. So, yeah, I'm gonna get on that today. Hopefully I can enlist the help of the two girls when they get home and have them help me uh, bend the wire onto it or whatnot. But yeah, I gotta get that going and then uh, see what the heck the kids are doing with their TP over there and clean up that. But you know, kids, uh, kids are using the other end of the uh, swing set as a TP and they got a tarp over there. <laughs> they were playing in it and uh during the sleepover and whatnot but it's been a it's been a good week i wish that melanie and uh abraham were feeling better and uh yeah it's uh one of those things parent life when one is down the other is like oh dang all right this just added a, a little bit more to my plate and then when Abe gets down too, that's like, all right, another one. Cool. Let's uh, <laughs> let's keep it at bay. Let's not add any more. But uh, yeah, no, it's it's life. I had a feeling it was gonna happen. The kids just got back into school, and uh, yeah, it tends to always happen. That first month, all the germs and all the everything else just tends to, you know. Tends to tends to be Mel, Mel and one of the kiddos. I'm just hoping that the girls will be fine. Be doing the uh, shower parade this morning, or this afternoon, evening, whatever. When the kids get home, <laughs> in the shower, wash off all those germs before you start messing around and touching everything. But yeah, it's uh, it's gonna be fun. I should be able to get quite a few of these posts in the ground. It shouldn't take me uh, too long. Um, yeah. 
In fact, I think it might take you guys along for this last little uh, five minutes of how I lay out the poles. Why not? Why not? It's real talk, right? I'll show you guys a little here and there. See what's up. I got the microphone on. I believe. I hope. Okay, good. <laughs> I'm not normally the one that does all this and you add all the microphones and everything else in it adds a little bit more. So anyway, let's do this. Walk and talk and work. I need to get moving and grooving. And I want to finish up this uh, real talk and get it out for you guys. And then I need to uh, record doing everything else. So, but basically with these T-posts, T-posts are uh, six foot, six foot long per se. So I'm gonna attach from over there on that fence wise and put a T-post right about there. So I'll grab this guy. Oh, sit that guy right there. Why not? This is uh, <laughs> interesting doing it one-handed. Let me see if I can grab two in one hand. They hot. They've been uh, in the shade slash sun over there and they're hot. But if I lay down a post, uh, if I lay a post down, and come over that's about a six foot gap right there so in between those two is going to be six foot in between that and that fence will be six foot so that should give me my post dis difference there so there's three i wonder how many more i'm going to need so that's pretty much how I'm gonna lay it out, right? I'm just gonna go a little bit off on the side, give myself probably about a two foot distance from the slab. I'll throw a string line up here and then find out where I'm gonna terminate over by this reel. So I'm gonna get at it today. I hope you guys have a good day today. I'm hoping that Melanie and uh, Abraham feel better today. And yeah, I gotta get to work, so. I hope uh, you guys have a good one, and we will catch you on the next one, you guys. Until then, later.